National Junior College Athletic Association Region 15 and Queensboro promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Negative comments, profanity, racist, sexist, or other abusive comments or actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or a team representative will not be tolerated and our grounds from the removal from the facility. Queensboro thanks you for your support and your cooperation. And now the starting lineup for the Kingsboro Community College Lady Waves. Number 12, Ashley Ball. Number 10, Brianna Gonzalez. Number 20, Devin DiPietro. Number 25, Jocelyn Rowland. And number three, Karina Wong. The assistant coach for the Lady Wave is Ricky Raggins. The head coach is Ronetta Cotton. And now the starting lineup for the Red Oak Queensboro Community College Lady Tigers. From Manhattan High School, at guard, number 15, Nyasia Irby. From Young Women's High School, at guard, number 55, Anne Marie Johnson. From John Adams High School, at guard, number 24, Shantana Kanoi. From Newtown High School, at guard, number 31, Elise Langley. From Martin Van Buren High School at guard, number 20, Giselle Princess. The assistant coach for the Lady Tigers, Teresa Rodriguez. The associate head coach is Lakeisha Harris. And your head coach is David Chambers. <laughs> This is QCC alum David Russell. Queensboro getting ready to host Kingsboro. Queensboro coming off a 12 point win at Bronx, 62 50. Kingsboro, the defending CUNY champions. They lost their first eight games this year before beating Sussex by 19. Starters for Queensboro Niaja Irby, Giselle Prentice, Shantana Kanoi, Elise Langley, and Anne Marie Johnson. Kingsboro coming out with Karina Wong, Brianna Gonzalez, Ashley Ball, Joycelyn Rowland, and Devin DePetro. QCC in the white and Kingsboro in the blue. And the opening tip is won by Kingsboro. Lady Wave looking to get on the board first. Three-pointer is no good. The putback is good. Joyce Lynn Rowland makes it 2-0 Kingsboro. Rebounded the miss. Langley is fouled. Foul is on Brianna Gonzalez, her first. Non-shooting foul. Kanoi, Langley, Prentice. Prentice takes the shot, and it's good. Giselle Prentice ties the game at two. Big CUNY showdown. Lost it out of bounds. It was last touched by the Lady Tigers. Kingsboro still looking for their first win in conference. There's no playing game this year. CUNY did away with that as that shot is off. Rebounded by Kanoi. So in the five team conference, four teams make the playoffs. Kanoi takes it herself and puts it in off glass. Kanoi goes coast to coast and it's 4-2 Queensboro. Say BMCC and Hostos are at the top of the conference, and then Kingsboro, Queensboro, and Bronx have all been struggling this year. Gonzalez gives it to Roland. Loose ball finds its way to De Pietro, and a three-second violation is called against Kingsboro. Lady Tiger ball.
Queensboro ball leading by two. Kanoi try to take it herself and there's nobody in the interior and Kanoi lays it in again. Kingsboro with nobody around the basket and Kanoi put in the uncontested layup. Prentice playing good defense and now Ball makes her move. Shot was too high, loose ball. And Anne-Marie Johnson has it for Queensboro. Kanoi. Wait, wait. Prentice and, and now a bit of a scrum between Langley and Gonzalez. Double technical, it's on Gonzalez of Kingsborough and Langley of Queensborough. A lot of emotion in this CUNY showdown. Reps having a word with what should happen. Talking to the coach now. Coach Harris getting the explanation. <laughs> Ref doesn't want any funny business between Gonzalez and Langley. They're still guarding each other, so it'll be Queensboro ball with 30 on the shot clock and Irby inbounding. Kanoi. <laughs> to Langley, Prentice, jumper, is good. Giselle Prentice puts it in and it's 8-2. And eight points in a row for the Lady Tigers. And Gonzalez guarded by Langley, and Gonzalez misses, rebounded by Kanoi. Kanoi's pushing it. And Kanoi gives it to Prentice. Kanoi misses, it's rebounded by Roland. Ashley Ball. Gonzalez puts up a three and it's good. Brianna Gonzalez makes it 8-5. Kanoi in no rush. Prentice, they're down to 14 on the shot clock. Langley. Gonzalez guarding her. Kanoi, they're down to five. Kanoi gives it to Irby, and Irby can't put it in. And there'll be a tie up between Ball and Kanoi. Up, up! And it'll be Queensboro Ball. And now Lorente Davis goes in for Kingsboro. We got no. Somebody's got to go off for Kingsboro and it will be Gonzalez going to the bench. Irby trying to get it in and it's stolen. The lady wave player who intercepted it was standing on the line so it'll still be Queensboro ball. And a kick ball. So they'll try to inbound it again. Kingsboro giving them some trouble on the inbound. Prentice puts up a three. No good. KCC looking to tie the game perhaps. Ball, Prentice is all over her. Good team defense by the Lady Tigers. And Prentice and Ball merge for the tie up. Kingsborough will keep it on the alternating possession. Possession arrow points back to Queensboro for the next tie up. Davies. 
Shot is too high, loose ball. Queensboro ball, Prentice. Just ball between her and the basket and the foul is called against Ashley Ball. Prentice misses the first as Crystal Santana goes in for Elise Langley. Prentice looking to split the free throws. And does, it's 9-5. Prentice now with five early points. Prentice has five and Kanoya has four for all the Queensboro scoring. Queensboro in a 2-3 zone. DiPietro launches a jumper, which is no good, but it's rebounded by Roland, who misses. And Kanoy comes away with it for Queensboro. Kanoy up ahead to Irby. And Irby puts it in off glass. 11-5, Lady Tigers. Timeout, Kingsboro. And it's KCC coach Ronetta Copeland, a former coach of the year who calls timeout. Copeland led the Lady Wave to their first CUNY championship last season. A new look team this year. Latoya Kinlock moved on. Kristen DeCutis, who was the point guard, transferred instead of coming back to Kingsboro for another year. Kingsborough ball out of the timeout. They trail 11 to five, four and a half minutes in. And it's Ashley Ball. Queensboro still in the two three. The three pointer is no good. Tip, Kingsborough offensive rebound. Back outside. Wong puts up another shot, which is off again. And it's out of bounds, ball to Queensboro. Kanoi. Kanoi, there's nobody really close to the basket for Kingsboro. Now they get there, Santana. Baseline floater is no good. Rebounded by Prentice who puts it in off glass. Giselle Prentice makes it 13-5. Prentice has seven points on her own. As Brianna Gonzalez gets ready to go back in for Kingsborough. Tip ball gets to DiPietro, who misses. And a foul is called underneath. Be a two shot foul. Fouls on Naisha Irby. First free throw is off. As Ludesi Gonzalez goes in for Irby. Roland looking to split the free throws. And does, it's 13-6. Prentice walking it up. Now goes into a jog. Prentice drives to the basket and can't put it in. And then a foul is called against Queensboro. Foul is on Prentice. Kingsboro ball. They trail by seven. Gonzalez. To Wong, Wong puts up the long jumper, which is no good. Long rebound by Prentice. 
Prentice, fast break opportunity, and she misses. And it was Gonzalez who was between her and the basket. Ahead, and the pass is stolen. The pass intended for DiPietro was short. Prentice. Back to Kanoi. Johnson. Santana. Jump shot is good. 15-6. Santana has her first points of the game. That shot came because the girl guarding Santana over pursued and went for the steal, didn't get it, and Santana had the good look at the jumper. And Santana got a hand on it. It'll stay with Kingsborough with 19 on the shot clock. As Elise Langley goes in for Giselle Prentice. Gonzalez being guarded by Langley. DiPietro misses. And that'll be a tie up. And Queensboro ball. Kanoi. Gonzalez guarded by DiPietro. Long pass is intercepted by Juan. Pass was telegraphed. Bahad Gonzalez misses. Out of bounds, it will stay with Kingsboro. Wong is fouled in the act of shooting. And it'll be a two shot foul. First foul on Ludesi Gonzalez. Karina Wong has her first point of the game. It's 15 7. Lane violation, wave off the free throw. So the point comes off the board for Kingsborough, which still 15 7. Langley to Gonzalez. Pass for Santana, saved in to Irby. Langley, kick out to Irby. Langley. Puts up a wild one and is fouled. And the foul is on Gonzalez. And that's her third. Let's see if Ronetta Copeland will take her out. Nobody coming off the bench for Kingsboro right now. Be a high risk to leave her in with three fouls. Langley. Gets a friendly roll at 16-7. Now a sub comes in. Rintai Davies goes in. Gives a technical foul on Gonzalez, counts as a personal. So she'll sit out the rest of the first half. Langley splits the free throws, but it's rebounded by Gonzalez. Queensborough with the new shot clock. Irby, cross court pass to Santana and the three is no good. Kingsborough pushing, Ashley Ball in a crowd of Lady Tigers misses. And Marie Johnson and traveling is called. Lana Porter goes in for QCC and Marie Johnson to the bench. Brief pointer right off the inbounds and then over the back foul is called on Kingsborough on Di Pietro. <laughs> Wang Lee calling out the play, which she got from the bench. QCC looking to push her lead to double digits. Santana baseline floater is good. 
Crystal Santana makes it 18-7. And timeout taken by Ronetta Copeland, a full timeout. Coach Copeland not happy with the way this game is starting off. Her team is down by 11. Queensboro in their 2-3 zone. Already ready for defense. And traveling is called on Ashley Ball. Good call. Queensboro Ball. Excellent defense early on. They've only allowed seven points in the first eight minutes. And now another traveling is called. Ball being guarded by Langley. Ball has a height advantage if she uses it. Kick out to Davies. Is it up to Ball? Nice pass and the jumper off glass is no good. Was ball, and she was out of bounds. Ball to QCC. Langley to Gonzalez. Herbie Santana corner three is good. Crystal Santana from downtown, and it's now 21-7. Santana with seven early points. Prentice and Santana have seven apiece, as much as the whole Lady Wave team. Kingsborough down by 14, and the pass went off long. Jumper no good, or floater no good, I should say. Back out. Wong misses again. And it will be Kingsborough ball. Queensborough can corral a rebound. As Quinasha Moore goes in for QCC. <laughs> Davies to ball. Langley is right up on her. DiPietro jumper is good. DiPietro has her first points of the game, it's 21-9. Langley. Puts up a three, and it banks in. Elise Langley makes it 24-9. Queensboro by 15, their biggest lead of the game so far. And Irby, got a foot on it, out of bounds, Kingsboro ball. They left Langley alone and the bank was open for her. Three pointer off glass. Long pass. Nearly took out the camera.
Queensboro ball. Langley to Santana who puts up a long three and that will go out of bounds. Kingsboro ball. As Langley goes to the bench. See if Queensboro starts to run a little bit. Kingsboro coming into the game with eight players. And then Coach Copeland a bit handicapped because one of her starters, Brianna Gonzalez, picked up three fouls in the first seven and a half minutes. One of those a technical. And Irby, great anticipation on the pass. The steal and the layup. It's 26-9. Kingsboro trying to get into the double digit mark. Ball. DiPietro's jumper. And she's fouled in the act of shooting. That was on Santana. First is good, it's 26-10. Kanoi goes in for QCC. Short on the second and the lane violation. Queensboro ball, DiPietro knew it was short when it left her hands. Shooter can't go into the lane until the ball hits the rim. And of course the other players can't move until it leaves the shooter's hands. Prentice steps into a three. But traveling is called. <laughs> Queensboro up by 16. Nine minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the first. Pass intended for DiPietro was overthrown. Queensboro ball. Kingsboro struggling on offense. Just hurting themselves with all the turnovers and the overthrown passes. Kanoi to Prentice. Prentice, good look at a jumper, but it's a little too strong, and Kanoi flies in for the rebound. Moore to Prentice, puts up the long jumper, and it rims out. Rebounded by Roland. DiPietro will go to the bench. Now she goes back in. So it's Kingsborough ball with 8.40 to go in the first. Ball. Jumpers way off, rebounded by Prentice. Two on one. Prentice misses. Tip ball out of bounds. Ball to KCC. And Laurenti Davies did a good job of chasing down Prentice, who had the ball. Ball. Good defense by Kanoi. Pass goes through her hands, and it'll be Kingsboro ball. No backcourt violation. It was last touch by Prentice. Ball. Nice pass. And the shot rims out. Rebounded by Gonzalez. Kanoi, they have Prentice ahead of the pack. And Prentice lost it. Break for Kingsboro. And DiPietro from the free throw line misses. Irby now with it for Queensboro. Bit of a helter skelter pace. Irby lost the handle on it, got it to Moore, and Moore can't get the friendly roll. And now Kingsborough will slow it down. After a wild sequence, it's still 26 10. Ball. And a foul is called against Queensboro. Back 
That was on Irby. First free throw is good, it's 26-11. Ashley Ball with their first point of the afternoon. Second rims out. Out of bounds ball to Queensboro as Elise Langley goes in for the Lady Tigers. Kanoi. Johnson turned around jumper. She likes to shoot from there, but she couldn't put that one in. Kingsborough ball down by 15. Karina Wong being guarded by Prentice. Pass to DiPietro, and her jumper is short. Rebounded by Davies, who misses. And Davies gets it back. And then is fouled. Foul against Queensboro. That's the team seventh of the first half, and it'll be a one and one situation. First foul on Anne Marie Johnson. And Queensboro calls timeout, 32nd timeout. So free throws out of the timeout. One and one. one and one situation, not what Queensboro needs to put Kingsboro on the line. First is good, it's 26-12. Half the players thought it would be Queensboro ball now. Not realizing what one and one means. Twenty-six thirteen as Davies calmly sinks both. Her first points, and it's 26-13. Langley to Prentice. Moore. Prentice. Good defense by Kingsborough. Langley to Prentice. And Prentice is called for traveling again. So Kingsboro has run off four points in a row and they have the ball. Wong. Langley guarding Davies and Davies can't put it in off glass but it's rebounded by DiPietro puts it in. 26-15. And a 6-0 run for the Lady Wave. Kingsboro just down by 11. Kanoi calling out the play. Prentice to Kanoi, Langley, Johnson jumper is short, and it's Kingsboro ball. And Ashley ball with it, being guarded by Prentice. Don't want to be too aggressive and foul. Tipped and it was last touched by Moore. Kingsboro ball with 15 on the shot clock. Gonzalez goes in for more. Ball puts up the shot, and it's an air ball. And a foul against Kingsboro. That was on DPH row. 
Next foul against Kingsboro will be a shooting foul. Queensboro will take it out of bounds. Kanoi to Langley, back to Kanoi. Langley wants to put up the three and does. And that's way off. Once you make one of those three pointers like Langley did before, you want to shoot again. Doesn't always mean it's the best shot. Wong puts up the long two, and which is off. DiPietro the rebound and she's fouled underneath. Two shot foul. So now free throws for Kingsborough. 26-16, DiPietro with six points. Makes both, it's 26-17. Eight points in a row for the Lady Wave. Queensboro looking for some offense. Kanoi, not so good job of Kingsborough of getting to the line. And traveling called on Prentice again. And another Queensboro timeout. Full timeout. Coaching staff not happy with what they see. It's been a few minutes since Queensboro was scored. The comfortable 17-point lead is down to single digits with 5.01 remaining in the first. Kingsborough hanging around and they have a good chance if they can limit the turnovers. Kingsboro ball after the traveling violation. Ashley ball. Left her feet to make a pass, but it'll stay with Kingsboro. Went off the hand of Van Marie Johnson. It's probably some of the Kingsboro passes, they have the tendency to be overthrown. Inbounding with 22 on the shot clock. Roland gets it to Wong. Ball to Davies who puts up a three and wave it off. Traveling is called. <laughs> Kingsborough already in their zone. Kanoi. Langley to Kanoi. This would be big even if Kingsborough didn't make up all Nine points in four and a half minutes as Langley misses. Prentice with the rebound. Irby baseline jumper is no good and rebounded by Kanoi. Langley swings it to Prentice and Prentice is three, rims out. And it'll be Kingsboro ball. Even if they can't make up nine points in 414 to hang around when they have Gonzalez coming back. Spade Queensboro couldn't put them away. And Kingsboro did a good job of bearing down defensively and not allowing uncontested layups. And Queensboro stopped running. <laughs> Offensive rebound by Roland. On the line, Queensboro ball with 3.56 to go. 
Jocelyn Rowland passed up on an easy shot. Langley to Kanoy. Langley back to Kanoy. <laughs> Langley, good defense by Kingsborough. Ashley Ball. And a foul is called on Prentice. It'll be a one and one situation. As Santana goes in for QCC, Prentice to the bench with their two fouls. Ball makes the first, it's 26-18. 3.29 to play in the first half. This is the second. Kingsborough gets it. Irby deflected it away from Langley. And now a carrying is called, so the ball goes right back to Queensboro. Langley. Irby, Davies is guarding her, Kanoy, Santana, and a three second violation is called against Queensboro. KCC ball with 3.12 to go. Nine nothing run for the Lady Wave. Ball, dribbled it off her foot, somehow rolled to Davies. Saved, it goes out of bounds, ball to Queensboro. 2.59 to go. Kanoy. <laughs> Queensboro looking to push the lead to double digits. Santana launches a three, no good. Irby the rebound, and Santana to Langley. They have 25 on the shot clock. Kanoy, three pointer is missed, and Wong with the rebound for Kingsboro. And a foul is called. Completely unnecessary foul. And that'll be two shots for Kingsboro. Twenty-six, nineteen. 19 Nasia goes to the bench with foul trouble. DiPietro, wave off the free throw. Another lane violation. And that's the second Kingsboro free throw that's been waved off for a lane violation. See if that comes back to haunt them. Anyway, it's 26-19, a 10 nothing run for the Kingsboro wave. As Kanoy gets the play from his associate coach Harris. They're already down to 17 on the shot clock right when Kanoy got across half court. Johnson turnaround jumper is good. And Marie Johnson puts it in. Her first points of the game and it's 28-19 with two minutes to play in the first half. Wong lost a handle on it. Kanoy pushing it up ahead to Prentice. Back to Kanoy, who lost it in a crowd of Kingsboro players. Lady Wave Ball, Davies. To Di Pietro, no good, tipped. Loose ball, Prentice has it. And then dribbles out of trouble. Up ahead to Santana, too far ahead. Kingsboro Ball with 89 seconds to play in the first half. Ashley Ball crossing half court. Bad Davies three-pointer is banked in. 
Lenti Davies makes it 28-22. Kanoi, 105 to go. The lead is down to six. It was 17 earlier in the half. Kanoi to Santana. Pass was almost high. Tipped and stolen. DiPietro to two on one. Nice bounce pass and Roland lays it in. 28-24. Anne Marie Johnson was a little slow in getting back on defense. And the lead is down to four. 15-2 run for Kingsborough. 47 and a half seconds to go in the first. Greensboro ball, the five Lady Tigers on the court. Prentice, Johnson, Santana, Langley, and with the ball, Santana, Kanoi. Queensboro leading, 28-24. Kanoi to Santana. Kanoi, bounce pass, Johnson, turnaround jumper is off. Rebounded by Kingsborough. Kingsborough could be trying to tie or take the lead if it wasn't for the free throws waved off and that shot is missed. And Langley was knocked down from behind with 16 and two 10 seconds remaining in the first. Foul is on Ashley Ball, her second. So shot clock is turned off. Langley at the line for one and one. Langley makes the first, it's 29-24. Langley now with five points. Langley makes both, it's 30-24. Kingsborough can hold for the final shot if they choose. Wong. Wong puts it in with five seconds to go. 30-26. Queensboro doesn't even get a final shot off. May have lost track of the clock. So they go into halftime winning, but not by as much as they want to. They're up 26-9, they go into the halftime up 30-26. Second half about to begin. Queensboro leading Kingsboro 30-26. Five Lady Tigers on the court. Langley, Irby, Johnson, Kanoy, and Prentice. Kingsboro ball to begin the half. And it's thrown away. And it's Queensboro ball.
Prentice to Kanoi. Langley. Good ball denial. Johnson jumper is an air ball. And he'll stay with Queensboro. And now the ref changes his mind. Says it's Kingsboro ball. Some pressure by Queensboro. Davies to DiPetro. Air ball. Tipped. And that'll be a tie up. Ball to QCC. Kanoi, Davies is guarding her and not playing off at all. Johnson comes up to help. Kanoi left her feet to make the bounce pass. It's Langley now. And Langley misses a tough shot. Out of bounds, it stays with Queensboro. Johnson to Prentice. Jumper, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Wave. Kingsborough looking for their first points of the second half. Ball gets in the lane and is fouled in the act of shooting. First, see if Kingsborough worked on their lane violations. Two free throws were waved off in the first half because of lane violations. <laughs> Ashley Ball looking to split the free throws. And does, it's 30-27. Kanoi being guarded by Davies. Johnson. Loose ball and it's stolen. Kingsborough ball, Ashley ball, guarded by Giselle Prentice. Gives it to Wong. Kingsborough can tie the game. Wong misses on a two. Davies for the tie. Misses, tipped, no good, now underneath. Wong puts up the two and misses, rebounded by Irby. Kingsborough couldn't get a shot to go down. Numbers for Queensboro. Irby bounce pass to Prentice. Johnson jumper is no good. And it's Kingsboro ball. Queensboro had numbers but couldn't finish. Ball. Roland puts up the two. No good. Offensive rebound and Wong will dribble out and takes it herself and misses. Kanoi pushing, and Kanoi is fouled. That'll be a two-shot foul. Fouls on Laurenti Davies. It's Davies first and the team's first of the second half. Kanoi makes the first, it's 31-27. Kanoi makes both, it's 32-27. Kanoi now has six points. Kingsborough ball, they trail by five. Queensboro in a 2-3 zone. Davies puts up a three and banks it in. Laurentiis Davies. That's the second three she's banked in. And now it's 32-30. Prentice can't put it in. Kingsboro ball. 
and they can tie or take the lead. Ball gives it to Wong. Jumper is good. Tie game, it's 32-32, timeout Queensboro. Full timeout taken. And Queensboro's 17 point lead is washed away. A 23 to six run for the Lady Wave. Lady Tigers looking to take back the lead. Kingsborough was an er erased to 17 point deficit. Kanoi to Prentice. Great team defense by Kingsborough when they forced a turnover. Ball. To Wong. Wong saved it in. Langley up ahead to Prentice and Prentice lost the handle on it but she's fouled by Ball. Kingsborough somewhat bailed her out because she lost the handle on it. And that will be the third foul on Ashley Ball. Thirty three thirty two. QCC leading. Prentice now has eight points. Makes both, 34-32. Kingsborough, it's Wong crossing half court. Ball. Nice pass inside, instead stolen. Not that nice a pass, Irby. Prentice to Langley, Langley puts up a long jumper and it's off. Queensborough probably could have worked for a better shot than a long jumper seven seconds into the shot clock. DiPietro in close and puts it in off glass, 34-34. DiPietro now in double digit scoring with 10 points. A game high 10 points. 34-34, four minutes into the second half. Kanoi blocked, Kingsborough ball. Roland got the hand up. And the Lady Wave can take their first lead since it was 2 nothing. Long for three. Couldn't get the friendly roll, offensive rebound. And it's rolling out of bounds. And they'll go out of bounds. Ball to Queensboro. Langley goes to the bench, Crystal Santana goes in. Irby inbounding. Johnson. Santana to Prentice. Kanoi. Back to Prentice, swings it. Santana in front of the Queensboro bench and was tripped by Roland. Got by her and then the legs got tangled. So the foul is on Roland. And it's the first on Jocelyn Roland. 
New shot clock for Queensboro. Johnson is doubled in the corner. Prentice to Kanoi. Missed and rebounded by Wong. Wong up ahead to Roland for the lead. Rebounded by Santana. Prentice guarded by Davies. Kanoi thought about the three. Irby puts up the long jumper and it's rebounded by Davies. Queensboro with four points in the first five minutes of the second half. Ashley Ball makes a nice move. Couldn't put it in off glass. Second chance points and it's good. And Kingsboro leads 36-34. They've come all the way back to take the lead. Kanoi. Prentice to Irby. And Irby misses, rebounded by Roland. What a run, it's 27 to eight. This game is absolutely flipped, ball. Too high off glass. Good defense, no foul. Got all ball, now Queensborough with the chance to tie. Prentice, and Prentice misses. Had the two on one and Prentice took it herself and missed. Kingsboro ball. And Ashley Ball to DiPietro, jumper, no good. And out of bounds, ball to Kingsboro. Subs come in, and it's Brianna Gonzalez, who left with 12.34 to go in the first half because she had three fouls. Let's see if Gonzalez plays with the chip on her shoulder. She started this game, picked up the technical foul. And also Taylor Brown goes in for Kingsboro for DiPietro. Wong all alone. Off the inbounds and missed. Rebounded by Irby. Kanoi to Santana. Santana for the lead. It's no good. Queensboro not connecting on any of these jumpers. Ball. It's been very aggressive and the floater is no good. Kanoi. Queensboro has numbers. Prentice. Layup. Johnson was fouled with 13 15 remaining. That was the first foul on Taylor Brown. As Johnson goes to the line. And misses the first. Now DiPietro goes back in for Kingsboro and it's Karina Wong who will go to the bench. Johnson misses both. Roland came down with the rebound and now Ashley Ball has taken a few shots as of late and missed a few. But she has been penetrating the Queensboro defense. And DiPietro's jumper is off but rebounded by Brown and Roland finishes underneath. No box out and it's 38-34. And now a delay of game warning against Kingsboro. Slapped the ball away after the basket was made. Corentai Davies goes in for Brianna Gonzalez. Kanoi. Davies all over. Good defense by Davies. Kanoi to Prentice. And Prentice is fouled. With 12.36 remaining.
Prentice makes the first, it's 38-35. Prentice now with 10 points. First Lady Tiger in double digit scoring. Makes both, it's 38-36. Kingsborough leading, 12 and a half minutes to play. Queensborough win a 2-3 zone. Prentice and Santana at the front of it. And they both come out to guard Ashley Ball. And timeout taken by Kingsborough. Ronetta Copeland calls a full timeout. Twelve twenty-four to go. Good defensive pressure there by Queensborough. Prentice and Santana were all over ball. Guarding the inbound, it's Davies now, guarded by Santana. They're down to 15 on the shot clock. And they say the pass was deflected out, so it stays with Kingsborough with 13 on the shot clock. Pass is thrown right to Prentice, and then a reach and foul on Taylor Brown. And that's already the sixth team foul against Kingsborough as opposed to one for Queensborough. Brown goes to the bench with the two fouls. Says three fouls on the scoreboard. It's three fouls and it's an offensive foul. So an illegal screen set. The second foul on Anne Marie Johnson. Kingsborough ball with 12 minutes and nine seconds to play. Ball guarded by Irby. Di Pietro. In the lane, loose ball goes on the floor for it. And Kanoi, it belongs to Queensboro. Kanoi and Davies has done a good job harassing her. And even though she may not turn her over, it does let Queensboro get into their defense late, offense later, excuse me. Kanoi to Prentice. And Prentice hits, tie game at 38. Prentice now with a quiet 13 points. 11 and a half minutes to play in this tie game. And a very important CUNY game, and it's a turnover, and then Santana is called for carrying, and a very good call by the refs. As I mentioned in previous uh, games, that's why they added the third ref this year to be on top of stuff. And this crew has done a good job today. Been right on top of these calls. Wong, guarded by Prentice. It's funny, usually the refs, the best ones are the ones you don't notice. Roland, jumper for the lead is no good. Rebounded by DiPietro. Pietro. Buns end over the back foul is called. Foul is on Di Pietro.
and there will be free throws. Third foul on DPH Rowan. And Marie Johnson will go to the line for a one and one situation. Already the seventh team foul against Kingsboro. Johnson off on the first, and it's Kingsboro ball. And ball had to go through her hands. Queensboro possession, Santana misses. DiPietro got in her face as she released the shot. Roland misses. She was underneath the basket the whole time and missed, and Prentice wasn't expecting the pass. Miscommunication, Prentice was behind the defense, but she wasn't looking for the pass. Hey, get over here! Kingsborough ball. Defenses are ready. Ball makes her move. Couldn't put it in off glass, and a foul is called. Foul against Kingsboro. Johnson at the line again. And that's the fourth foul on DiPietro. One more and she's done. So Taylor Brown gets ready to go back in for Kingsboro. Johnson makes the first. 39-38 Queensboro lead. Johnson makes both, it's 40-38. Queensboro leading again. Back and forth game. Kingsboro looking to tie or take the lead. Ten and a half minutes to play. Davies comes over to help and now Langley is guarding. Now they switch back. Wong can't put it in. Rebounded and the putback is good. 40-40, no box out from the Lady Tigers. Prentice gets through the defense. Johnson for the lead. Couldn't hit. Rebounded by Roland. Halfway through the second. Irby guarding ball. A shot was high. Loose ball. Now be a tie up. Kingsboro possession. 9.48 to go as Shantana Canoy goes back in for Queensboro. Prentice to the bench. Long to Davies. Davies puts up a tough jumper, which is no good. Queensboro ball, Canoy pushing it. And Canoy counted on the foul. Santana Canoy puts the Lady Tigers back ahead. Forty-two-forty. 43-40. Canoy finishes a three-point play. Canoy showing off for speed. And now we're defense, and that's a backcourt violation. Good call by the ref. It's right on top of it. And good call. Her right foot touched the half-court line. And Canoy has to be careful not to pick up a backcourt violation of her own. 9.20 remaining. Langley 
Couldn't hit. Out of bounds, it stays with Queensboro. Shot clock should not be 30. Ref goes to the scores table. Trying to figure out how much it should be. And they'll put it at 24. Irby will inbound. Langley hands off to Kanoi. No way to Santana. And Kingsborough will have it back. Traveling called. Prentice goes in for Santana. Good ball denial by Irby and now Gonzalez overthrows Davies. The pass ended up in the hand of Ronetta Copeland, the Kingsborough coach. She sure didn't want it. Queensborough ball up by three with nine minutes to play. Kanoi guarded by Gonzalez. Fifteen on the shot clock and now Kanoi makes her move. Bounce pass was nearly thrown out of bounds. Johnson is trapped in the corner, got it to Prentice, and Prentice hits. Two pointer, it's 45 40. Gonzalez guarded by Langley up ahead to Davies. Wong. Wong misses badly. Loose ball, and that'll be a tie up with 8.23 to go. And the ball goes to QCC. So now Kingsborough finds himself trailing again. 8.15 to go. Langley. Kanoi shot is blocked. I mean, excuse me, Irby shot was blocked. And then Langley, the pass was a little too far in front of her. Under eight minutes to play, Kingsborough ball trailing by five. Davies misses, the putback is good. Roland using her height advantage for the rebound. It's 45-42. Davies, this full court man by Kingsborough, has been pretty successful for the Lady Wave. Prentice couldn't hit. Irby gets it. Langley in front of the Tiger bench couldn't get the friendly roll. Ball, and a reach and foul on Kanoi. That's only the team's third of the second half. Although still not a foul they wanted to commit. And that's only the second foul on Kanoi. Roland inbounding. And it's thrown right to Kanoi. And then a foul is called on Davy, so it'll be two free throws for the Lady Tigers. And Queensborough will be in the double bonus for the final 711. First one is good, it's 46-42. Kanoi now in double digit scoring. Queensboro should watch out, they have Roland if you look at the other side of the court. Roland is all alone, 47-42. They get back, full court press, Davies, 
Davies puts it in off glass. Kingsborough shreds the full court press and it's 47-44. And Davies in double figure scoring. Point to total starting to get up there. Now Davies on Kanoi again. They switch off, now Kanoi guarded by Gonzalez. And Prentice is called for yet another traveling. 6.43 to go, Kingsborough ball down by three. Davies. Tawang guarded by Prentice. Langley over pursued, Gonzalez hits a long two and it's long. Loose ball and Kingsborough gets it back. Out of bounds it stays with KCC. 26 on the shot clock. Davies catch and shoot. Misses the two. Queensborough ball. Kanoi running. And Kanoi lays it in. Coast to coast for Kanoi and it's 49-44. Up ahead, pass was nearly overthrown. And Davies misses badly on the jumper. The put back, counted and the foul. 49-46 with 6.05 to go. And that's the fourth foul on Niaja Irby. One more and she's done. Oh, uh, Shetina, you have 12. Can't finish the three-point play, but Wong chases down the rebound. Gonzalez back to Wong. Jumper is too long. Santana tip, last touch by Davies. And it will be Queensboro ball with 5.56 remaining. Kanoi. Being guarded by Wong and now Davies. Prentice to Santana. Santana goes baseline. Shot is short and rebounded by Ashley Ball. Ball. Nice pass and Roland with the quick release. It's 49-48. Roland in double figure scoring. Queensboro a one point lead. Five minutes, 20 seconds remain. Kanoi. Puts it in, it's 51-48. Team's trading baskets now. And now Queensboro will forget about the pressure and play off. As the third foul was called on Kanoi. Wong. And Kingsborough calls timeout with 5.02 to go. Bronetta Copeland calls for a 30 second timeout. Her Lady Wave Trail, 51 48. Back and forth, second half. Pietro guarded by Santana. Now ball. Gonzalez being guarded by Langley. Remember they picked up the double technicals early in the game. Roland to ball. They're down to seven on the shot clock. Ball, three, two. They have to beat the clock. Gonzalez, 30 second violation. Nobody noticed. 
4.37 to go. Lady Wave players lost track of the shot clock. Kanoi will give it to Langley. And Gonzalez is on her. Prentice. To Santana. To Prentice. Santana for three. And it's good. Crystal Santana from downtown. It's 54-48. And that doubles the Lady Tiger lead. 4.06 to go. Ball being guarded by Kanoi. DiPietro misses and it's rebounded by Kanoi. Kanoi pushing, Queensboro with numbers. Kanoi will take it herself and she's fouled by Gonzalez. With 3.50 to go. Two shot foul. And that's the fourth foul on Gonzalez, one more and she's done. Kanoi makes the first, 55-48. Herbie goes in. Rev has a word with the Kingsboro coach. Puts the free throws, it's 55-48 still. Kingsboro down seven with 3.45 to play. Ball. To Rollin, puts up the long jumper and it's way off. Prentice the rebound. Queensboro with numbers. Kanoi lays it in. Lead is back up up to nine, 57-48. Three twenty to go, and Gonzalez jacks up a wild three, and Langley with the rebound. And a foul by Gonzalez. Hey, good job. And that's number five on Gonzalez, and she's done. So Gonzalez fouls out. As the whole Queensboro team loves that. Langley at the line. Misses badly on the first. Queensboro up by nine with 3.15 to go. As Langley misses both. Kingsborough will need a good possession here. Wong. Davies. Rollin puts up another shot and it's banked in. 57-50. Kingsborough not going into, uh, I shouldn't say doesn't go into a press. Now they come with some half court trap. Langley launches a three. And misses on a three-pointer nine seconds into the shot clock, but Anne-Marie Johnson gets the rebound, and timeout is called by Queensboro. And I don't really love that shot by Langley. A three-pointer nine seconds into the shot clock with a seven-point lead under three minutes to play. And so a 30-second timeout is taken by Queensboro.
Santana gets it. And the floater is no good. Took that shot about three seconds into the shot clock. Queensboro not getting too conservative. Doesn't mean they have to shoot right away. Loose ball, and that'll be a tie up. Irby goes in for Santana. Offense, defense, substitutions being made. Rolland. And Wong can't save it in. Yet another turnover for Kingsboro. Very poor passing game for Kingsboro. Langley. And it was a kick ball. 2.12 to go. Langley to Prentice, sub-18 on the shot clock. Prentice puts up the shot with 14 still on the shot clock. And a foul is called with 158. Foul is on Santana, they had one to give. And now Irby goes in for Santana. Davies going coast to coast and couldn't put it in. Di Pietro just missed a rebound. Irby attacking and misses, but the offensive rebound is corralled. Langley, three second violation called against Queensboro. Kingsboro still hanging around, 139 to go, down by seven. Davies, 90 seconds to go, rolling three is no good. Queensboro rebound, see if Kingsboro fouls. They almost got a steal, Prentice to Kanoi. Kanoi slows it down. Prentice, Prentice in the lane. And Kingsboro ball, 107 to go. Kingsboro's gotta go fast, ball. Roland misses, offensive rebound. Ball now dribbles out. Under a minute to play. Need to go faster than this. And Queensboro decides to foul, not on purpose. Foul is on Langley. Second on Langley, now Kingsboro can take points off the lead without time coming off the clock. Still 53 seconds to go, this one not over yet. Fifty-seven, fifty-one. See if Kingsboro starts to foul and send Queensboro to the line and try to prolong the game. Another lane violation on Kingsboro. Kingsboro will not full court press. It's only a two possession game with 50 seconds to go. And Ronetta Copeland wants her Lady Wave players to come up. They're already down at 13 on the shot clock. Langley, now they get across with 10. Now down at 30 seconds remaining in the game. Four on the shot clock, three. And timeout called by Queensboro with 25 and 6, 10 seconds to go. Even if they take the 30 second violation, there'd be 22 seconds left in two possessions for Kingsboro. The 
And Monetta Copeland knew that. She decided not to foul. Said she came with some some zone and some trapping. Now Queensboro is down to three on the shot clock. Also, when Kingsboro gets it back, they're probably going to have to put up a three-pointer. They don't have time for twos and fouling. Time not on their side. They could hope for is a three, a steal, and another three. But first, they have to stop Queensboro. See what play the Lady Tigers come up with out of the timeout. Three on the shot clock. So Prentice full inbound. Three on the shot clock. Kanoi bobbled it. They're down to two, one, Kingsborough ball. Wong lays it in, it's 57-53. Now Kingsborough needs to foul. And said time is running off the clock. And they're not fouling. And they're waiting too long. Waiting way too long and they're still not fouling. And they're just going to play it out. No foul by Kingsboro. And a strange ending. Kingsboro laid it in with 19 seconds remaining and then didn't foul. They were right in position for a comeback. But they fouled or tried to steal. Instead, they let time run out. Kings Row didn't have enough time to muster up a comeback. And so this is QCC alum David Russell. Queensboro beats Kingsboro 57-53.